Hey friends, it's Dawn. It's good to be back and to show you the newest journal that I have. It'll be available on my Etsy sometime today. I like to do the flip through video first. That way when I put, <clears throat> okay, my voice is going to go. That way when I put it on Etsy, I can list my flip through link. I probably don't need to do that, but it's kind of the way I do it. So anyway, it has a removable tassel and there's some bee charms and all kinds of fabrics, laces, and ribbons. So that's detachable. I have to put a little, what do you call it, bulb, bulb paint on it. All right, so this is the journal itself. Let me just move it on in. And I'll just give you a close up of some things. This is a little, um, I got this from Joann's. It's so adorable. And it's tied with this, I believe this is vintage because I got it years ago and it was in a thrift shop. A ribbon that has this little lace thing on it, so cute. And then I just turned a slide thing into like a little peep of this little bee couple. Aren't they adorable? And some applique. And then there's the back. And there's some... Let me get this together. Just two dangle charms. There's the top. Okay, so we'll flip one through it. So obviously it's bee themed. Okay. All right. So the kit I used, <laughs> I'm going to list it in the description because I completely forget them. I know it's like Nouveau B something. But anywho, it's a beautiful kit. I've used um, ephem ephemera from the kit from all different places. It's in my stash. So since this kit is like a mixture of bees and flowers and things of that nature, that's basically what I kind of formed everything from. So you'll see bees, you'll see flowers. These um, are adorable. So I'm including these. I have no idea where they came from. I got them in some kind of thrift shop bag or something. And then this is another one of the, what do you call it? The um, side shows with a bee in there and just some, just some collage. Now this was a piece of paper that I tried to rip out to use for a page, but since it got like that, yeah, I said, no, it's going to be too hard. So I, I included it because if you like to read about these, it's on both sides and it's not going to matter that it's, I mean, obviously some pieces are, are missing, but so there's stamping. And these are all, I think this is like the life cycle of bees or some, something or other. So that's just tucked inside here. And stenciling. And then there's that, that embossed paper I got on, the, on my thrift haul. And there's just two little, two little journaling tags in there. Adorable. And then the back is, it's got um, stamps. Put this back on, because I won't remember where it goes. Okay, back in frame. And these are so adorable. Look how cute. Okay, so, and actually this can be written on in black if you want, but we're collaged over. So there's some brick rack. Um, I used this cut out, fussy cut as a tuck. And it just slips up there. And we got sweetest honey. There's a collage here. And there will be a lot of like purples, greens, pinks, yellows. And that is a fabric pocket. And this is about Hyacinths because I believe that's one and then this is a vintage, vintage uh, music paper. I believe Hyacinth is one of the ones that um, are in the kit. 
purple hyacinth. Okay, so this is just the flip. It turns into a pocket inside, and you can journal there. And then this is just, it says, B Culture Monthly. It must be a magazine subscription. And this is from one of the vintage books I have as far as, like, nature and things like that. This came from a whole other journal page, and I just cut it to make a journaling card. And it goes in the back of this. And this is a fabric pocket here, which has that. We got the handbook, Be Culture. And then it flips up, and it's just coffee dyed. So there's a tuck behind. A flip and then a pocket in the front. <clears throat> and this was a paper bag I folded in half. Made a fabric pocket for that. Put a few things in there. This is cute too. Then in the middle, put this. And these obviously are all journaling cards. And this is just the about the journal if you want. So that's a long side tuck. Oh, I love this glassine paper. But this, oh, I love it. It's so beautiful. Okay. There's the middle signature. And I took some fussy cut. I just put them there, but... Um, in the middle signature, I attached, let me bring them up for you. I attached these charms, oh, bed light, bed lighting. So they're bumblebee charms and little, like little daisy charms and they just hang down there. period and it reminds me a lot of it so this is just a floating pocket with some journaling and a tag and that just sits on here or anywhere you want it to and there's some beads okay so I put these two as made to be tucks so that they just hold like so. The other side of the paper bag. Mm -hmm. The let's see what's in here. That's cute. I forget where I got this. Man, I have the worst memory in the damn world. Sorry, oops, darn world. Okay. And this was another piece of journaling paper that I turned into a pocket, like a full pocket. I got those. This does not come out, okay? This was glued down to cover something. So it's like that. And then this goes inside. another fabric pocket wildflower I love these they're so delicate looking I can't read it to see what it is they look like dandelions I think they are and then I took some trim some lace and then this is a paper cutout have some daisies fabric flip These are just two tufts. And then the nukes. Just a collage there. And this is so cool. A copy of a cigarette card that tells you about why bees sting and why they hum. Just all kinds of stuff. It's so weird. It's so cute. I wanted to keep it in there because that's like I didn't know about half the things that are on there. And 
another pocket in the back. Okay, and that's just a collage up there. So, oh, the inside is cardstock, so fabric, no, cardstock covered, but okay, you know exactly what I'm trying to say. So anyway, this is going to be in my Etsy today, and I hope you enjoyed it, and have a great day, guys.